Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be showing off the brand new season 27 items, which are going to be these angelic white items. These are brand new to season 27 via the PTR. So starting right off, we'll show off some gameplay and I'll show you how awesome these abilities are. But first off, how do you get these white items as they're not just going to be a drop? So how it works is you're going to have to acquire angelic crucibles. These won't drop until end game at level 70. Uh, but how they work is you use this item to select an equipable legendary item to sanctify it. This item is destroyed in the process. So it's going to convert whatever legendary you have to a primal in terms of the stats. It will roll the stats randomly um, and you can re-roll ones that are already white. And I'll show you an example on this manticore. And they will add completely new effects to your character. So it's like a super legendary. It's like, a, I don't know if we're going to call them like angel legendaries or I mean, it's essentially sanctified legendary. But nonetheless, let's go and show off how it works. So we have this manticore. We're going to go ahead and right click on it and uh, we will use the uh, crucible on it and it's going to turn it into a white one. So what does this one do? Now we have the ability to make it so on the secondary in the orange stats. Now it already has the reduces the uh, hatred cost of cluster arrow. That's just on manticore. But the second uh, orange text where it says firing cluster arrow concentrates its explosive force into a piercing rate of light. So that's where this becomes a little bit different and a lot more uh, builds will open up for uh, different classes, depending on your class, of course. So I'll go ahead and use this video as an introduction. Then I'm, I'm planning to make a video on each class uh, over here, but starting right off the Manticore, let's go and show off how this uh, cluster arrow works. I'm not spec'd out for cluster arrow, but I will at least show you guys uh, how each one works. So um, with this one over here, we'll use cluster arrow. So I'm gonna have to swap off, let's say strafe and just go to cluster arrow just for a second here. And so normally it doesn't actually do that. Um, if I wasn't to use that, you would just normally see the cluster arrow like it would normally. But now it's in a beam. Now I'm wondering uh, if they're going to make like a correct text to show the exact amount of damage. It seems like it's another like uh, 1.5x multiplier on like all the damage. They would be from cluster arrow anyways. Um, but yeah, as far as like the official numbers, I don't know what they are yet. But I want to show you guys more of them. Uh, I have another one over here. This is Odyssey's N. It makes so casting vengeance unleashes a barrage of rockets that deal damage equal to a percentage of current hit points the enemy possesses. So it's really good on bosses uh, and like Rift Gardens. The percentage is reduced if the enemy is elite or a boss. This effect cannot occur more than once every 60 seconds. So this one actually has a really long cooldown. I'll go ahead and show you guys. Um, I mean, it, it does a percent, so it's not going to eliminate anything like instantly, but I'm going to show you guys at least what it looks like. Then I'm going to play my actual build here that I've spec'd out for, and it's going to be kind of new. Um, so let me go and show you guys what the vengeance looks like. So you can see all of these things shoot out. So just more little like rockets, you know, that you'd normally see from Vengeance, but these ones are gonna deal a percent. So a little bit more powerful. Now, let me go and show you guys my actual build that I've built. So what it is, it's what I wanna call it like, a, like an aimbot multi-shot where you don't even have to aim with it. It's actually very, very powerful. We're gonna need Strafe for the build. Strafe doesn't actually deal the damage and the legendary um, angel power that we have on it is uh, Strafe now casts the last non-channeled hatred spending ability cast. So what we're going to do is we're going to shoot multi-shot once and then every time we spin, it's just going to rapidly multi-shot auto-targeting and it is fantastic. If you've liked the uh, G.O.D., the Gears of Dreadland, God D.H., this build is very similar in that sense. Um, but yeah, um, we're running a physical build right now, but yeah, let's get the gameplay. It is so much fun though. So we'll have to shoot once uh, with multi-shot. And then I'll just go ahead and just clear off this rift real quick. Now, one thing to note that is very important, this may change in the future, but every single time I level up, I have to recast multi-shot. Uh, I'm not sure if this is intentional or if it's like kind of a bug, but um, that is one thing I have noticed. But we'll just do this real quick. Actually, let me show you guys uh, a GR75, which would be the equivalent of a T16 anyways, since that's kind of like our little benchmark. I'm only Paragon 200. I, I haven't even put my uh, rest of my points in, but let me go and show you guys a uh, GR 75. Look look at the, the Paragon levels. We've been just absolutely blasting through this new content and it's awesome. If you're wondering if the season is like, you know, worth jumping back into, I would say definitely. There's so many different builds and like I said, I'll cover more on the channel here, uh, but I just want to show you guys a uh, couple uh, real quick. So we'll go ahead and throw this one in. And we'll do it. So all I really need to do is shoot multi-shot once and then we just zoom zoom. But every, again, every single time I level up, I do have to recast uh, multi-shot. Yeah, 
hitting for insane amounts of damage. I mean, you'll see how fast we're leveling up with this. <laughs> but I just want to give you guys some gameplay early. Uh, I was going to grind out to para 800, but like this is just, it's too awesome not to share immediately. And I'll come up with more build guides. This is like a completely new way to play Demon Hunter um, for multi-shot. And it's really smooth too, like, normally with the god DH you have to build up, and this one I can strafe pretty much the whole time, unless I level up, which, you know, eventually will stop leveling up, so, uh, you know, every few seconds so it'll be a lot, like, smoother for the gameplay. It's like a smoother version of the god DH, and you can see it just auto-targets with multi-shot, and it's just melting content. And once we get our paragons up, it's gonna be even better. Going through content super super fast and there are other changes with set sets um i'll probably cover that in another video it's just more so giving you guys a introduction and showing you guys how fast this is and i also want to go over some very important things that you don't want to mess up on because <laughs> i was kind of testing some things and it's going to be very important that you guys uh stick till after i finish this and i'll show you guys what i'm exactly talking about I've become stronger. Me and uh, by the way, the gems, uh, they're only level like 25, 27, I think. Somewhere around there. We'll go ahead and uh, get the uh, Rift Guardian real quick. We're top 500 already. 520. All right. We don't need to pick up anything here, but we do have to level up some gems. But like the highest gem that I have is a take up. So what it allows you to do is actually run certain things that would, let's say, be required for channeling, like, right? With Teguk, you would run this normally on like a, a god demon hunter, not like a multi-shot. But now, multi-shot is our source of damage. Now, what is important with these things, and uh, I'm going to answer a bunch of questions that you guys might have for these new, like, white items, these angelic legendaries. So, um... If you're wondering, can you actually uh, put these inside and actually get the um, Caldissian's Despair? Uh, the answer is yes, you can do that as well, um, just like you normally would. Uh, we actually have a bunch of these and I can kind of show it off right now. And I want to actually show off some of the things that are important that you should actually know about. So um, one thing that you can do, if I, let's say I don't want to run Cluster Arrow for whatever reason, normally in Manticore, obviously you're going to run Cluster Arrow. Uh, but if I don't like that one, I can re-roll it, and it will re-roll all of the primaries. Um, technically, they're always going to be what's considered primal, so they will always be, like, the highest number, if that makes sense. But they will roll randomly still, like, what you could roll on it. Like, for example, most people would want, like, let's say, cooldown reduction, so you can keep on slamming it until you roll the thing that you want on it. However, the secondary, that will change. You can see we're not, right now we have the um, Firing Cluster Arrow uh, does the, like, Piercing Light, which I've shown you guys already. Um, and I'm just going to keep on rolling. And now we have Strafe Cast, the last non-channeled hatred spending ability. Now, in addition to that, if you're wondering, can you throw a Rymalandi's Gift on it? The answer is yes. So, like, let's say I want to add a socket, because... I was wondering the same thing, can we modify these items further? Now, if you do want to, you can actually throw it inside of the Kanai's Cube with the uh, Whisper of Toma, or like, this is the whole like, uh, you know, Caldusian Despair where you're upgrading it. I know my face is blocking it, so let me move my face out of the way. If I put this in and I throw in the like white item, the Angelic Legendary, I transmute, it will have that Caldusian's Despair, right? Where it says rank 100 plus 500 to whatever gem that you put in. Now, important thing, if you use the Angelic Crucible again on it, will that stat actually go away? And the answer is yes. It re-rolls the whole thing. So do not do that. Don't make that mistake. Obviously, we're on PTR, so like it doesn't really matter. But I, I, you know that could be something that you really need to not do. So make sure that you get the right rolls on it before you go ahead and actually throw on the Codlessians to spare. But anyways, yeah, this is just a short little introduction to the brand new mechanic of the Angelic Crucible. Like I said, there's going to be a lot more builds that open up for different uh, classes. And there's also three different set changes, which I would plan to do make videos on in the future so if that's something that you would like to see and you are new here subscribe to the bell and you'll definitely see more very soon but take care and i'll catch you guys in the next video and if you've played it let me know what you think of the brand new angelic weapons because i think they are absolutely amazing but anyways thanks for tuning in guys and i'll see you in the next video peace